Hello. Didn't see you there. <laughs> Welcome to my bedroom. Moment of truth, does it hinge? Can't wait to send our baby down it. <laughs> but I did a pretty terrible job mapping out the curve. Let's test this thing out. What's up? I'm on a bit of a lazy Sunday where we don't really feel like getting much done, but I have screwed our planks back in for our bed. So our bed is reframed and now checking that this wall piece doesn't fit like it used to. I'm just going to trim off a little piece there. And so we'll have our plumbing box all walled in. I'm going to cut another piece just to make a wall over here. So we'll have another box there and then we'll have basically this box, which we will have two walls on either side, which we'll put drawer poles on. And so we'll have storage under the bed right there. Just a little notch out. Let's go see how that fits. Okay, so this wall now fits under the bed beam. The problem is our bed beams actually don't come out straight from the door. They slope outward because that's kind of how our wall and the door frame worked out. So in order to make this square, I'm gonna need to make a post to fill in between here and here. So I'm just gonna cut probably two widths of this plywood and those will make up a wall and that'll fill in that gap and then the side will all be squared off and ready to make a nice straight drawer that'll pull out. Okay, I'm sitting back here in the garage space which Emily has started painting the rest of the walls and the other plywood white so that once it's dark underneath the bed it'll be a little easier to see everything. While she's been doing that, I mean she'll kind of be in and out poking around with that. I've been doing Something else kind of exciting. We finally have a bed! Or at least I cut the boards for it. So, we have two sheets of plywood here. They're three quarter inch sanded plywood so they'll be nice and sturdy. We've already both laid on it and put a third person on and there's absolutely no give. Um, we have this skinnier piece on this side because we will be able to lift it up, we'll put it on hinges and access our plumbing. We'll have a little laundry area here probably and our back storage space through there. It's a little bit shorter than the width of the bus that's the length of our mattress, and then we'll probably have kind of storage boxes on the end here. We'll have a little laundry chute where we can put our clothes down under the bed, but that plywood's ready to also be painted with Emily's moisture resistant primer, and then we're just going to probably drill a bunch of big holes in it, and that'll help it be ventilated like normal bed slats so that our mattress can breathe. Can you tell everyone about your very precise measuring system? Yeah, so I did the first row not measuring anything really, except I did kind of mark on the edges where it's going to be sitting on top of two by fours because a hole there wouldn't really do anything and we want the edges to be sturdy because that's what's holding everything up. So I drilled these holes and then I used one unit of Gavin's fist on a diagonal to make the next series of holes and so that's how I'm alternating here and then because I didn't want to get too far off. <laughs> well, I cut a bunch of holes for ventilation and it still holds us. So that's good was a little worried that I'd make it too weak, but here we are both sitting in the middle of it, the most unsupported part, and... It holds just fine. It's holding just fine. 
On to the big one. <laughs> it's not that much bigger. It's still bigger. Okay guys, I'm gonna be honest, we put down the camera for a couple days because it is hard to film and build, but we have made some great progress. We have a bed. Woo! We have our entire bed frame, bed boards cut, our ventilation holes cut, they're all painted and dry, our entire garage is finished. I installed our light switch for our two lights back here and it is looking good. Yeah, so you missed a lot of wood cutting, a lot of painting, and now we're just working on some finishing touches for this bed space. The upper cabinet area is almost done. We just need to attach the backup camera. We're building a box at the foot of the bed for some storage and finishing up with our window sills and around the windows in the back and then pretty much it. I tried cutting the wall for our closet, but I did a pretty terrible job mapping out <laughs> the curve. Um, I missed a little bit at the top. So we actually ordered a curve template tool. So we're going to redo that and get that later. But I think I've redeemed myself because I just cut the most satisfying piece yet. Our windowsill. Wow. Looking clean. Perfect to store your tape measure, not your hammer, that's too big. No hammers on the windows. Just tape measure. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for tape measures. <laughs> Perfect for tape measures. Now we have a secret tunnel. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel, through the mountain. Secret, 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 secret tunnel, yeah. Can't wait to send our baby down it. <laughs> Adventure Drudge Baby coming. <laughs> Never. <laughs> That's its bungee jumping zone. <laughs> <laughs> Newborns only, it's pretty small. <laughs> We're not having a baby. Not yet. <laughs> but Jason and Alex bring Isaiah on over. Yay! So I've just locked this side of the bed into place. Now this side of the bed, we're just going to put some piano hinges on the one side because they're low profile and that will allow us to lift this so that we have access to our water system, to our storage right there, and I guess into the drawer that we'll have right here if we want to, so. And for the back piece, you just did four screws in each corner, right? Just in case we want to be able to take it off. Yeah, so it'll be easy to pop those four screws out to take that out if we ever need to, if we want to put something big in the storage area or do some big maintenance or something, but. For the most part, that one should stay in place as the ceiling of our garage area, so. And we don't want it to rattle around yeah. when we drive. Want it removable, but don't want anything rattling around, so. This one, we'll put some sort of latch on the front so that it doesn't flap around when we're driving and everything should be sturdy and secure with our mattress on it. It's starting to look like a bedroom. I know some of you in the comments before have said, why the heck are you drilling with an impact driver? That's just for screwing stuff in. That's not for drilling. To you I say, it's easy and it works and <laughs> <laughs> So there. All right, moment of truth, does it hinge? Oh my gosh, it does. Yeah. Cool. Ooh. And then maybe one day we'll put some gas struts so it like stays up, you know? A little creaky. Should have used the no squeak hinge. <laughs> <laughs> we could squirt some WD-40 on them.
gives character. We got an exciting delivery. It's a queen. A whole queen. Hello. Hello. All right, fresh out of the package, and our mattress is four and a half inches. It should be around six. So, give it some time and hopefully she grows. What are you gonna store in your box? Tape measure, the only thing we need to store. One final layer before the mattress on top of our plywood is this Dendry pad basically and that's just got let's see if I can show you it's got kind of these plastic bubbles on it and that'll just also help the mattress breathe underneath it'll sit on top of there and so that's just one more thing to help us not get moldy yeah this is a product specifically made for like RVs and boats for ventilation under mattresses and we've heard great things about it and they have great customer service so they sent me a pack of Skittles with this. I think it goes. Just because they're nice. I think it goes the other way. What do you mean? It face goes, down? Yeah, it goes felt up. Time for the mattress! What's our new height? We made it. That's six inches. Wow. It looks cozy. All right, let's test this thing out. First rule is no work clothes on the bed. Good to know that it doesn't collapse when we jump on it, too. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Oof. A little creaky. Oh, I got dust on the bed. Oh, no. Welcome to our bedroom. Pretty comfy, pretty cozy. Pretty comfy and cozy. We've got lots of headroom, so we don't have to worry about hitting our head if we wake up in the middle of the night. Obviously, we'll have pillows. We both fit. Oh, it's so comfy. Wow. Back sleepers. Side sleepers. Oh, this is way better than I expected. Yeah, it's pretty good. Smells nice. Oh, stretch. I hit the roof if I do that. No stretching. <gasps> wow. Cool. Now we're done with the bus. There's nothing else left to do. Yeah. We can live in it now. Time for a sleepover. We have lots of family coming to visit next weekend. And so we're planning to sleep in the bus next weekend to make room for everyone else. So. We're very glad that we have a bed ready for that. Thanks so much for watching. What are we doing next week, Gavin? Oh, I don't know. Let me see what's in my box. Something exciting. Backup camera time, and then we'll be able to finish this box up here, and the bedroom will be looking good. Yeah, that's all. That's all. Thanks for joining us on our bedroom journey. See you next week. Bye. Love you. Love you.